What's happening, people? Back with another reaction, back with some more uh huh. I wanted to start this video once again by giving a shout out both to those who've been engaged with my channel for a few months now and those who found me in the last few days after I started reacting to aha uh -huh material. Also wanted to give a shout out to Philip and Han Solo, those who have made the aha uh -huh material available to me before I've gotten the physical copies. Uh, to anyone seeing this video before any of the other aha uh -huh videos, um, I'm in my early 40s, been collecting music a long time, um, have thousands of records, thousands of CDs, all different genres and styles. Um, and I've been really enjoying going back and sort of not only enjoying 80s groups um, and, you know, synth pop and so on that I grew up listening to, like Depeche Mode and to a lesser extent Erasure and so on, um, but discovering some groups that, you know, I knew through reputation but who, you know, beyond one or two hits I never really explored in any detail. Um, and I've already gone on a couple deep dives like that, like I'm currently going through a lot of Eurythmics material where again I only knew a couple of their tunes back in the day and I've come to realize that the diversity and quality of their sound is much greater than I ever realized and you know they're far more than just you know being a group that sounds like uh, Sweet Dreams or something like that. So bottom line, um, I've heard a number of you already in the last few days alone tell me how awesome AHA's material is and how, you know, there's so much more than just their hit take on me. Um, and so it was interesting because I mentioned before when I went to react to their material, it's like, okay, I'm just going to start from the first album and we'll just go through it chronologically. And I was like, oh wow, Take On Me is actually the first song on their first proper album. So um, yeah, that was an interesting sort of uh, quirk where, again, I was expecting that to maybe, you know, come later on. But bottom line, um, I've now gone through a few tunes and I'm already like really excited to do this because um, some of the synth work and like synth bass is um, you know in a in a territory that was not suggested to me by Take On Me so already I'm beginning to get a sense that you know there's a lot here to discover and enjoy so uh, and once again I mean the vocals uh, I cannot uh, wrap my head around the vocals the range the the sort of melodic uh, quality and sublimity um, and some of the highs and the lows, uh, which a number of you commented, like it's you know equally good when he goes to either um, extreme. So yeah, bottom line, I'm very excited to go through this. Uh, we're up to a tune called Blue Sky. Um, and again, for those of you new, uh, when I react to a tune that as far as I know, I haven't heard before, I usually just spend a minute or two um, speculating about the title and potential themes suggested by it. So um, Blue Sky, I was thinking, you know, it's sort of, it could come to play, into play in a few different ways, but two that stood out to me immediately is one, a blue sky speaks to sort of like the natural like state of you know nature, the renewed um, daytime sky and so on. It speaks to sort of the pristine um, um, idealized uh, depiction of, an, of the natural environment of the sky. So in a way it speaks to sort of um, again like nature and sort of rejuvenation um, and sort of like daily cycles, but also blue sky is used as a phrase to mean when people are saying things that are just not really grounded in reality. It's like, oh, he's on some, you know, blue sky thinking binge. He's blue sky in it. He's just up there saying things that like, you know, they don't really relate to the actual details on the ground and they're, you know, unrealistic for logistical or other reasons. Um, so yeah, those are obviously two very uh, distinct interpretations. Um, but we'll have to see, you know, if either one has anything to do with um, the lyrics, but let's get to it. This is AHA from their uh, debut album, 1985, Hunting High and Low, and the tune is The Blue Sky.
just ridiculously good. Um, and that seems like it's going to be a persistent theme. Uh, again, I don't know, was that the lead singer's vocals, like, layered? And so that was, like, him, you know, low and kind of so, sort of, like, doubled or echoed, and also him with the high, sort of more distant um, response? Or was the were the lower voices, like, the other two guys in the group? I'm not sure. Uh, do let me know. Um, but, yeah, I love the synth bass. I love the, not only the sort of sonic quality of the drum machine, like, the percussive rhythm, um, but I like the rhythm itself. I like that syncopated sort of um, feel. And it's funny, there was a part in the beginning, and when I uh, react to groups, sometimes parts of songs will sort of make me think of, like, um, styles and other um, artists. And usually, like, almost always, I don't mean any insult in either direction. Like, it's a, you know, a positive compliment in both directions. But there was a moment, like, early on where I felt like I wouldn't be surprised if this was like a, um, a Tears for Fears song, you know, it's like Roland was the one like making the production, and believe me when I say that's a massive compliment, because I've be I knew Tears for Fears back in the day, it's another group, I knew a couple of their hits, and I enjoyed them a great deal, but it's only in the last year or so that I've taken a deep dive through their material right up to the present day with Tipping Point. Um, and I've come to realize like what incredible musicians they are and sort of the intense like uh, production like standards that Roland has and so on. So there was a moment early on where it's like, man, this sounds like, you know, some of the better like Tears for Fear songs that I've heard recently, um, which again is high praise. Um, so yeah, I liked a lot of what was going on there. It did feel kind of like a, like a high sort of sonorous sort of palette of blue in the sky, which again, like I'd have to hear the lyrics um, I did catch some lines here and there, but, you know, as often um, when I react to songs that I've heard for the first time, um, you know, it takes me a few listens to, to start, like, um, really appreciating some of the themes and, you know, putting the lyrical puzzle pieces together. So, um, but yeah, do let me know if you have an angle. Uh, I really did enjoy it. I'm very much excited to continue going through this album, and there are several lined up after that. So, yeah, do let me know what you think of the tune. I will see you next time. Peace.